as the Fed looks forward to what they're going to do about interest rates for the rest of the year, um, how would you how would you describe where we are right now? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, the, the, the looking forward for the Fed, uh, they have a two percent inflation target. Uh, that two percent is measured by what's called the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, which is a a little different than what people think of of the headline inflation, which is the CPI or the Consumer Price Index. Those tend to be a little bit different. The CPI is usually about four tenths of, of a percent higher than than the personal consumption expenditure or the PCE. So you know the, the the Fed's goal hasn't changed for the last you know since the early two thousands. The Fed has had a had a two percent inflation target, and they have consistently hit that target up until COVID. Uh, and then because of all of the the economic disruptions uh, uh, during COVID, and because of you know, the Fed's running up their balance sheet to try to uh, mitigate the economic and, and financial sector impact of, of COVID. Uh, you know, we had a huge surge in inflation. Inflation was up to 9% um, in, in June of 2022, and it has since come down so that by June of, of last year, uh, we were looking at about a 3% inflation rate uh, with the CPI and the the, the the PC was uh, is in, in that neighborhood a little bit a little bit less, and basically for the past year, June of last year to June of this year, you know we've been looking at about a three percent inflation rate. So you know the Fed has yet to you know make a significant um, movement. They've they've essentially kept their what they call their 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 target interest rate, which is the the federal funds rate. Uh, they've kept that in, in the neighborhood of five and a quarter percent. And, you know, all the financial markets keep saying, well, they're going to cut, they're going to cut, they're going to cut. But the Fed keeps saying, well, no, until we're convinced that inflation is coming down and we're going to get back to our 2% target, we're not prepared to cut. And so once again, as of last week, the Fed said, you know, we're going to hold, uh, we're going to hold constant until we're convinced that we're on a safe glide path to our 2% target. Uh, but we're not there yet. It's interesting. I actually went back and looked at the what the federal and it was every time the Fed meets, they put out sort of their projection of where they where they think we are and where we're going to head over the next year or two. And so back in June of last year, they had the the economy uh, as measured by GDP growing at about 1.1 percent this year and 1.8 percent next year. So now they're saying they're much more optimistic. They've got uh, this year, the economy growing at 2.1% rather than the 1.1. And next year, they've got it growing at 2.0 versus the 1.8. So the Fed is much more optimistic on the economy, uh, both short-term and, and for next year. Uh, but interestingly, last year, they assumed that the Fed funds rate would have come down um, to 4.6%. And the reason that they were going to lower the Fed funds rate this year to 4.6% is they assumed that their, their inflation index, the PCE, was going to be 2.5%. And for 2025, they assumed the Fed funds rate was going to come down to 34 because they assumed that inflation would be down to 2.1%. So essentially last year, they assumed by next year, uh, they would have inflation contained roughly at their target and in the Fed interest rates would come down to 34 However, this year they're saying, well, that didn't actually happen. Um, they've got the Fed funds rate at 5.1 this year uh, and inflation at 2.6. And for next year, they've got the Fed funds rate at 4.1 uh, and, and inflation is at 2.3. So essentially they're saying that the stronger growth that they have you know, anticipated for this year and next means that inflation is still, you know, several tenths higher than they were anticipating last year. And as a result, they've had to keep the federal funds rate higher uh, than they were anticipating last year. 